What is up guys, it's Cal, and in this video I'm going to show you where to tame these three new mechanic wolves that were introduced in Legion. One of them was introduced in 7.1, which I'm going to show you first, and then the other two were in 7.0. Now I've already shown where to tame Frender, which I'll put an annotation at the end of the video to that. He's one of the four total mechanic wolves in this game. The first one is a green one, and his name is Model Garter. It's, that's sort of how it's said, I guess. Now he's at Alkaz Island, which we've been to before to tame the Mechano Spiders. So to get to Alkaz Island, remember you have to talk to Zidormi at Theramor to revert Theramor to pre-Cataclysm, so then you can see 110 version of Alkaz Island. Now I ended up getting there and then I realized that I don't have a free pet slot open. So make sure you have one of those. You always have to have a free pet slot open when taming a new pet. But luckily I found that there is a stable master at Old Theramore. He's right outside of the inn. So you can just go back there and put one of your pets in the stable. Now here we are back at Alka's Island. Remember you cannot fly there. Uh, you will get hit with an anti-air rocket, whatever. You have to swim to the shore. Now, when I was doing my um, Mechano Spider video, someone said in the comments that an easy way to get to them is to camouflage past the turrets, and I saw guides online saying to do the same. But that didn't work out for me for some reason. The turrets still shot me. I don't know why. So I ended up death walking to them anyway, using uh, Turtle, Cheeto, whatever, Shadow Meld, Fain Death, whatever you want. And if you watch my Arachnid Drone video, you're going to go to that middle building where Dr. Weevil is. I end up dying here. So, I just spawn and, uh, once I, once I decide to spawn, make sure you take a right at the fork. Don't know what that was. I immediately died as soon as I spawned. So you take a right at this fork, you go into the middle building, which is where Dr. Weevil is, who is required to tame the Arachnid Drones. You don't need them for these wolves. So just going to the middle building now. Uh, you're going to pull a bunch of these guys, but it's it should be fine. You'll be alright. And he spawns in this room right here. I do decide to go upstairs, or make sure you feign death so you lose aggro of, the, of them. Uh, Dr. Weevil is up here. He does have a chance to drop a toy, so I decide to kill him because he's already being attacked. He only has a 5 minute spawn timer. Uh, but he does not drop a toy for me. So downstairs, going back downstairs, this is where you want to stay to catch model garter so once he spawns which he only has like a five minute spawn timer you do have to get him to 30 percent health before you can tame him now i do almost kill him here with my crows it's up to dismiss my pet now um but since i almost kill him he decides to return the favor and almost kill me which you'll see right here i have i think about four percent health left but i got him and that is how you get the first Mechano Wolf model garter. Okay, so now these next two dogs are very tricky to find. I'm going to show you where Trouble is first. He patrols a path in High Mountain, which I'm going to put on the screen now. It's going to stay in like the bottom left of the screen or bottom right, whatever, wherever decided to put it. And he is invisible and you have to catch him with flare. And the only way to find out where he is, is that he leaves behind ink puddles. The same thing with Rush except they both patrol different paths. So, some, um, as this plays, as you see me do it right now, I'm gonna talk over it just to tell you some tips on how to find them, is that once they reach the end of their path, they turn around and then move in the opposite direction along their path. To find out which direction in particular that they're heading, uh, you can camp one of the oil puddles, and if it disappears, or you wanna camp two of them, if one of them disappears, then he's in the other direction, of the one that didn't disappear, if that makes sense. And then once you think you found out where he is, you want to use flare. Now you don't want to use flare like right on top of that oil puddle, unless you know he's standing there because he continuously moves. Uh, you might want to use it in front of that oil puddle. You just have to determine where he uh, spawns next. Now as soon as you catch him with flare, you don't aggro him. He keeps moving and as soon as he leaves your flare, he disappears again. So if you're survival, I highly recommend ice trapping him or freezing trapping him whatever uh, if you're not survival 
binding shot is what I ended up using. And just make sure he stays in place and then tame him. And then that is how you get your pet. Now that was triple. Now we're gonna go to Rush, which took me, I'm gonna say, like two hours to find. And you're gonna see why. Uh, well, first off, he's in Ajuna, and his path is like at least twice as long. It's, it's probably closer to like three times as long, honestly. Uh, and there's times where I kept finding his trail, then losing him, and there's also a few times at the end, which you'll see, where I actually spot him with my flare, he walks out of my flare, and then I lose him. It's very aggravating. But finally, I was able to get him. He is like a reddish color, as opposed to Treble's black or Garter's green. Um, but yeah, he's located in Ajuna. The path is going to be on the screen now. And good luck. Good luck finding him. Oh, one other tidbit of information that I want to put in before I set you off on your journey is that I ended up doing it with this guy. But if you are just fed up trying to just follow his trail, um, find an ink spot and just wait there. Just wait there, and then as soon as it, it disappears and then it respawns, then just throw a flare on it. Uh, I mean, that's if worst comes to worst. It will take a while, but that's uh, sort of what I ended up doing. You'll see.
Bruh. And there you go. That is how you get the three McKenna Wolf pets that were added in Legion. Uh, remember, there's a total of four. Friend is the fourth, who's a gnome again. I made a video on that. You can check it out. Annotation will be at the end of the video, somewhere around now. Um, but if you like this video, if it was helpful to you, I'd appreciate if you leave a like on it. You would sub to the channel uh, for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.